Well, Charlie? Welcome to another episode of the official podcast. This is episode 153. We're coming up on our three-year anniversary, I believe, and to celebrate, Jackson's brought us one hell of a conversational topic. <laughs> How do you guys feel about Star Wars? <laughs> I love it. Like deep down. <laughs> Can't get enough. There's this a there's a primal you guys, urge in me to see more. Uh, are you guys excited about the Mandalorian? Because I, I sure I am. cried. I cried and I clapped and I gave them my money. I love the DeLorean. Thank you, Disney. I've, yeah. <laughs> I, I love the mandolin. It's a great instrument. I've started thinking about collecting Lego again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's something. Oh, no. Star Wars is like a gateway drug for you for like childish <laughs> obsessions. I know. I've been thinking more about Lego, Star Wars, and dinosaurs recently. I need to snap out of it. Yesterday on the bonus episode, we spent like an hour mocking you, and that somehow triggered you into collecting Legos. Bullying is supposed to have the opposite effect. It's supposed to be a deterrent. I gain power from it. <laughs> if, it, it if, I live in a world, if I live in a world where they'll bully me, I'll build my own world. <laughs> yeah, ugh. I'm safe there in Lego land. <laughs> Lego oh, land. I can't, I can't wait till we uh, we all visit Jackson's house and we have to like crowbar the door down and it's just pitch dark and he's just sitting around a giant Lego fortress. Oh. You're over exaggerating. I have one Lego piece on my mantle. At the oh, moment. it started already. Get him. Your mantle. <laughs> Dude, what is cool. it? My, my trophy room <laughs> a cabinet well recently <laughs> recently because my brother had been living with me for the last year after a, after a, a breakup so he, he'd been living with me for a year and now he's moved out so i've been thinking of what to do with the the vacant room and i've just been thinking about maybe potentially turning it into a lego room oh god sweet lord <laughs> jesus <laughs> you'll slay all the pussy with that jackson I don't need pussy when I got Lego. <laughs> We're gonna That's be visiting slogan. you one day. It's gonna look like Charlie's Chocolate Factory, but with Legos. And we're all gonna die, just like in the movie. I'm gonna trip on some Legos, you... fall and hit my head. Charlie's gonna eat Char too many Charlie of them. Had, Charlie had... Charlie had a room full of plastic balls, and apparently that's not weird. Yeah, it's for my dogs, that. it's not me oh, swimming in it. Yeah, little little balls. He had an entire room dedicated yeah, to that. Yeah, that's not weird at all, that's at fun. A that's fun. Lego's fun. I can like no, yeah, but you but can't make right. your they dogs play with it, and they don't enjoy he it. He has a dog. If you had a child, I wouldn't mind you having Legos, but yeah, good point. I don't know. Very. Good I do point. have a child. My inner child, <laughs> okay. and it needs to express itself. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> no. fight that argument. That's a good one. <laughs> the inner child at some point needs to grow up. What kind of Legos That's do you collect? I'm, Are they? I'm working on twelve plus Lego sets now. <laughs> Are you serious? What the? I, so what, what kind of Legos do you collect? You think Are they? That's a bit extreme, Andrew. Are they thematically in tune with the rest of your interests? Do you collect Star Wars Legos, or is it just any Lego you can get your hands on? I, I have one. I have one Lego set. I threw all the rest. I donated all the rest to to a <laughs> charity yourself. so that they could get some enjoyment. <laughs> you you caught yourself there. I see. He made his brother move in and donated <laughs> them all Lego to set. his brother to avoid taxes yeah, on the fucking I'm Legos or something. <laughs> it's charity. I'm sure the kids are gonna love those crusty Lego pieces they get from. They Jackson weren't Fox. crusty. They were beautiful pieces. <laughs> they had only been put together once, and I never touched them again. They were in pristine condition, and I disassembled them all and gave them the instruction book so that they could build their own creations as well. But you hid the most important pieces from them so they can <laughs> yeah. never finish it. <laughs> Should have printed in your Just own the final page. pieces. Just print false instructions and put them in there. And now for step three, add some cyanide. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, you have to give up either Star Wars or Lego. Which one goes? Uh, Lego, Why? by far, easily. Why? Because I can mm. I can just use Chinese uh, knockoff brands of Lego stuff. <laughs> you can say the same thing <laughs> about Star point. Trek. Or Star Wars. It's Star Wars. What a, yeah. I don't care about Star Trek. Yeah. You would if you had to give up Star Wars. You'd go with some knockoff. Who cares? You'd, you'd watch Turkish Star Wars Jackson. in a draught. What? Jackson probably would never become a Trekkie. I, I don't think Jackson nah. would ever like Star Trek. Yeah, no, I don't. Why? Why? But why? Why does that give you? Why do you have that impression of me that I wouldn't like Star Trek? It's too much of a thinking man's show. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I just like the lightsaber zoom, zoom noises. Yeah. That's exactly, exactly what really... you were saying when we were talking about Star Wars. <laughs> is it a thinking man's show, or is that just what the fans like to believe, the Trekkies, that they're somehow above every other I, fan base? I, I, I like to think it's... I like it's to think it's a very deep. psychological show. Yeah. There's, there's not a lot a whole of moral lot... issues. The, ex- excluding the Chris Pine movies, there's not like a whole lot that really happens in terms of like on scene action or anything. It's mainly just like character development and conversational topics. Yeah. So it's much more slow and more about like a psychology. When the Chris Pines movies were coming out, there was actually a big hoopla and they were saying that the star trek movies should have been what the new star wars movies were because they're boring big, actiony yeah. well they, well they, <laughs> you know, they're not great boring but they're also big <laughs> actiony you know run away from the explosion punch the guy shoot the laser sci-fi action movies which is not what star trek is at all star trek is very very much a uh, characters talk about thing characters look and observe thing characters have discussion Oh, something happened. Characters talk about it. But there's also so many like different series of Star Trek as well. That's where I get lost. Like there's there's so many different uh takes. Well, not takes on Star Trek. They're all they're all like connected, aren't they? Like Yeah. I, I don't even know the names of them. They're all in the Can same universe. For me? They're all in the same universe. Um like Next Generation, I know that, that one. That's so there's one, right? there's Star Trek from the fucking sixties, then in like the eighties there's Next Generation and those are the two series that are like, if you're going to watch Star Trek, that's what you watch. That's like quintessential quintessential classic. Oh, baby, I'm watching Star Trek. All the other stuff ranges on how good it is, but they're kind of different. What bit. the fuck is Star Stargate? Oh, Stargate that's was fun. That's from a different show entirely, I believe. So it's not connected to star trek i thought they used star gates to get around in their star like no that's star gate no they like use the warp. government discovers a gate and then they travel around different planets and shit and coincidentally everyone speaks their language and they can breathe on every planet and <laughs> all the usual stuff but it was fun oh, at yeah, the time like 20 sci-fi. years ago yeah stargate was that uh stargate was that movie where they brought that like nerdy archaeologist and he was like it's a stargate and then they go through it and they go to like an egyptian style planet right you guys remember no, it's a whole that? series there's several series yeah too. it's not a movie they i thought it started too. as a movie and then became a series they had th- isn't a uh, michael clark duncan in it the really really big black dude wasn't he yeah. in it i'm pretty sure he was in it i don't know this is getting too nerdy well uh, i don't know I thought it was Star Trek, so I'm lost. <laughs> Guy, what's the nerdiest thing that you're into? Yeah, I don't know. C++. I don't... <laughs> what, what do you mean by... too cool. Wow, into. C++, you fucking dork. I like pancake titties. That's a little nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I sometimes when, when I... I go to lift weights, I do the math. That's nerdy. I love it when a girl, like, she sniffles and then pulls up her glasses. Oh. God, it just, just does it for me. The the homely <laughs> nerd look. Mm. That's not even nerdy. I don't know. Yeah, There's cool. nothing I'm one that time, much into. I, one, yeah, that's fair. Well, doesn't isn't that sad? Don't you want to have a, a bit of passion in your life, Kyle? I'm passionate. He's passionate about things, but probably not products. I, he doesn't strike me as a product enthusiast, like not an Apple all. brand fanboy or something. Kaya strikes me as the kind of guy where when he's on board on a weekend, he, he goes, you know, I think I'll build a shed and then I'll just start <laughs> building one. I see. That oh, sounds funny. Right. I, think... I mean, like the primitive yeah. technology guy, every single yeah, time I watch one of his fun. videos, I just I think, dude, just sell all your shit and move into the jungle. Fuck it. That, <laughs> that just looks fun. That looks relaxing what he's doing. And he's doing manual labor, just slapping together a bunch of piles of mud and making houses out of it and phones and shit. And I'm just thinking, yeah, that's a life. Mm -hmm. See, that could be that could be tons of fun. Because it's a long term project that once like it's finished, you get immediate. Well, not immediate satisfaction, but you get the satisfaction of seeing something you created. Yeah. And being a man. That can be fun as a hobby, but there's no way in fuck I'd want to live a life where it's like, oh, did I fail to make an oven? I'm going to die now. That's (laughs) it. I know. I don't want real life Minecraft. See, that's why you anything. do it on a small scale. You start with Lego. And build up from there. <laughs> yeah, that's how you I'm learn. Working my way. <laughs> I'm working my way into building my own structures. That's a, I hear. And that's how Bear Grylls started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are you passionate about, Charlie? Do you mean in terms of like Jackson to Star Wars? 
To anything, I don't know. I don't think anyone here is passionate about yeah. anything like yeah, I am. Yeah, good fucking Star Wars. luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's just yeah, good like luck. a single series or anything that I'm like overly passionate about where I'd like limp dickedly defend it on Twitter during an argument or something. I don't defend it. What? You I'm spent like an hour yesterday <laughs> in a florid speech to us about how we're all wrong about no, Star Wars. I defend, no, I did not. You guys tried to convince me that I was wrong. I defended my own opinions and interest in it. I did not try to convince you guys. I think like your catchphrase was, it's deeper than the movies, like over and over. <laughs> yeah, it That's is. The, thing. the extended universe is infinitely Followed deeper by than the, the movies. cliche Star Wars fan line of, I know they're dark shit, but... And then for more defense of the movies. I, uh, I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth. Well, you did say that some of them were dog shit. I never said they're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never said The Last Jedi was good. <laughs> well, okay, then I can I can give verbatim. You did say they're not thought provoking, and you don't see them to be thought provoking. That doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think there's anything that I'm kind of. So wouldn't you rather have something thought provoking like Star Trek? I think there's other thought-provoking movies that I would get that kind of satisfaction out of. I think they're entirely different levels of enjoyment. Okay, fair or, enough. Or avenues of enjoyment, have you, I guess. So have you seen any of Star Trek? Like, have you watched an episode here or there? Oh, I'm sure I would have when I was younger, and it just didn't grab me, so I never kind of looked into it. Hmm. But definitely not recently. I don't know. I, th I think it's a show that everyone should watch at least one or two episodes of. I, I, I think that when it's good, it's a very, very well done show. And you can That's also okay. drop in and out. You don't, you okay, don't let have me to rephrase like, the question the overall plot. Charlie or, or any of you. So my barometer for passion, I guess, is the, like the nerdy fanboy passion is what's something that you would see on social media like Reddit where you would just feel compelled to make an account and start arguing with someone just to correct them because Ooh, it, it just I, got nothing. to you. I got mm. one. The people, like, I don't know how old these kind of people are, but I can't imagine they're above teenagers or like, any cartoon is for kids. It fucking sucks if it's animated. That oh, shit yeah, kind of, that, that boils my blood a little bit. Because I like, fuck I still guys. like some new cartoons and shit that come out. They're good. They're fun. Enjoyable. Would you make so an account argue, and argue, you know? though? Yeah, I'd probably, well, I don't argue about anything, but like if they came to me and they're like, Charlie, I hate cartoons because I'm too adult for them. <laughs> if no, they came down the store and started screaming at how much they hate cartoons. <laughs> well, you're saying make an anonymous account and just spend all day arguing about it on Twitter because I don't think any of us would do that. Yeah, like, I guess, yeah, yeah that's what the, I meant if, to come close. And it'd yeah, only be I just, if the I argument was like taken that. to me. Mm. I don't think any yeah. of us do. No, I uh, well, actually, I, I, can, actually I can see something with yeah. I was gonna say I, I could go see the... Andrew with maybe King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, uh, still, still keeps him that, up. That's actually kind of what I was gonna tea. say. That's actually kind of what I was gonna say. Uh, I go the opposite route. I I get a real strong urge to to argue with people when they're blindly in love with something and can't take criticism about it. Like, uh, I don't know, we've been talking about Star Wars. Let's use Star Wars as an example. The people, <laughs> the people, again. the people who are like, The Last Jedi is the best movie ever made. It's so fucking perfect. I love that Kylo Ren and Rey are going to kiss and fuck. It feeds me so good. Mm, yes, yes, it's so good. But what, why, why do you have to bring that? Why do you have to bring that down for them? What, what kind of because I'm an asshole. Kind of Jack. Yeah. What kind of benefit do you get from saying, no, you're wrong. <laughs> you can't enjoy this because I, I don't because like I blind, didn't like it. I don't like blind praise for stuff. I don't like people who don't acknowledge when something has flaws or just are constantly calling something. But you the don't Best mind ever. blind negativity towards something. What do you mean? That was deep. Well, that was some but I Star saw the Trek movie. shit. <laughs> but it's, I'm not hating on The Last Jedi because I'm like, oh, it looks bad. It got bad reviews. I watched the movie. I hated it. Well, so did they, and they enjoyed it. So therefore, it's not blind. But they're not open to criticism about it is the difference. You know, it, it, they're kind of like the people... Well, what's criticism going to do to... Are they going to go back and fix The Last Jedi but just because Andrew tweeted at them saying, you're wrong for enjoying this? There's no benefit to you, like, shitting on it. Well, there's well, nothing to them. By well, that logic, gonna... then what's the point of reviewing a movie, then, if they're not going to fix it? You know, it's just exactly. expressing what's wrong with something. 
What's the point That's of consumer advocacy? What's the point of when when Charlie's people go cartoons are for little kids and they suck? What's the point of him defending them? That's the same exact thing. It's what Kaya's question was. I'm answering his question. That's what would compel me to go. I gotta say something. I don't. I don't like blind fanboyism. It annoys me. All right, fair enough. I yeah. guess. Like I, I have a lot of stuff I fanboy over. Like uh, we've talked about Metal Gear a lot. I fucking love that series a lot, but I will openly admit that four and five are not that great compared to the others. I still like them, but I can say that stuff. But there are fans out there, stuff like Star Wars or Marvel or whatever, where every single one is just God's gift to movies. It was the best thing ever made. That's still not a real fan syndrome. You guys know this. Remember back in the day when we all loved Linkin Park? And then they came out with some dog <laughs> yeah, shit electronic course. music album that completely changed the entire genre and what the band pretty much was or how people knew the band. And all of a sudden, a thousand those of sons, us who didn't yeah. like us, we were all branded. You're not a real Linkin Park fan. If you're a Linkin Park fan, you love it. You love this too, no matter what they do. Well, that's not a fucking fan. That's then you're exactly just a cultist. If you like something, no matter what it is, that's called a cult. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I I don't like people where it's just just because it has brand name on it. It's the best thing ever. Like anything, anything, comic book movies, various bands, TV shows. But realistically, people could still enjoy Linkin Park's electronic album or whatever. Like some people could enjoy that and their enjoyment isn't. Yeah, absolutely. But they, they can't hold it up as like, oh, it's the best, absolute greatest of all time, better than any other album ever made. It's like, no. I'm talking more so about the... How it works. You know, you can tell they don't really want to like it, but it's Linkin Park and I'm a real Linkin Park fan, so I'm gonna like it, I have to like it, and if you were a real fan, you'd like it. This is ridiculous. If, if today we switched our show and next week we just start doing true crime... And people told us, well, this isn't what I tuned in for. What the we fuck is this? We will triple they- in viewership. <laughs> <laughs> you know, imagine and us coming out like douchebags and say, well, I guess you're not a real fan then, huh? Well, if you were a real fan, you'd listen no matter what we do, even if, if it's a cooking show tomorrow. Which is basically what Linkin Park did at some point. They told everyone to fuck off if they didn't like it. Jackson, let me use an example that literally all four of us can get behind. I'm talking about <laughs> Let me use an example that even a Star Wars fan can understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the people. Hey, hey, I, just let me clarify. I am completely fine with like criticizing products and, and IP or whatever. But the hypothetical situation that I was thinking about here is you saw a Twitter post from a fan saying, hey, I really like that movie. And then Andrew hops in and, and, and jumps in and, uh, and no, says, no, you know, no. you're a blind fan. You're, you you're missing. You no, can't enjoy this. No, it doesn't go. It has to go further to the extreme. I'm talking about the people. I'll use an example for all of us. The people who are like Game of Thrones final season was the best ever, ever of all time. It was so yeah. good. The ending was perfect. It built up to everything. It ex- exceeded expectations. That's who I'm picking on. If they say, no, I liked it. I don't think it was that bad. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Fine. I don't mm-hmm. care. But the people yeah, who go, you. this is the best ending we could have gotten. I loved it. Thank you, two guys who ran this show. You're geniuses. That's what I'm like. You got to shut the fuck up. So let me draw a parallel. How do you guys feel about adults dressing up on Halloween? Ooh. Depends I'm not trying to be controversial. Context. I want to get your opinion. Context. It's context. So going tri- I see yeah. a lot of people on Twitter, for example, going, dude, Halloween is for children. Why the fuck are you dressing up? I mean, that's basically just the, oh, the thing that they throw out. Well, if you're out. just dressing up just to s- sit at home, I, it's weird. Or if you're dressing up to walk sit down the street that's, or something, I yeah, guess that it's is, a bit weird. That's a fetish. But if you go I to a party, like a Halloween party, you've got to get dressed up and it's not weird. Yeah, I think I people don't, don't make draw the differentiation there. The I see this opinion a lot that adults shouldn't dress up, but Halloween is just this huge cultural thing. Why should adults not be part of it? It's basically just a huge global costume party, right? I think where That's they are right. right is, you know, I, I, you shouldn't participate in the children's category, I guess. That's not where you should be. Like, if you're 18 years old and still trick-or-treating, probably bad. Yeah. Probably shouldn't. But if you have your own yeah. costume party, I don't see the problem. Well, but I mean, can you dress up with your kids to trick-or-treat? Well, if you course, fucking yeah, have to. Yeah, that's just being a good parent. You yeah, guys are missing parent. the stalwart point, though, that these people are making, where this 2,000-year-old Celtic holiday that was about, like, fucking and running around and getting drunk and being revelrous should be about the children. 
should be all about the children. I don't know like enough I, about the history of Halloween to get the reference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that Halloween is whatever the fuck you want it to be. Yeah, fair. There, yeah, it's literally just, it's got themes, but you can do whatever the yeah. hell you want on Halloween. I think this is the deepest episode of the podcast we've ever done. My mind's been blown at least six uh, times. Oh, I just saw the parallel the between secret. here's a thing. Where do you draw the line between this is for kids and this is for adults? And I draw the line at how much into it do you get? If you're actually the 16 year old, you know, a young adult still dressing up, going by yourself door to door, trick or treating or TPing people's houses, then I guess you're a child. Or if you're, I don't know, collecting Star Wars Legos on your mantles, but. <laughs> <laughs> then you're a man. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That I like to get man. a jab in. Yeah, and dressing man. up as a Jedi. <laughs> dressing up as a Jedi as I sit here recording an episode. Yeah, it's not even Halloween. <laughs> playing, playing with my lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a metaphor. <laughs> That'd be weird. Uh, you know what I like dressing in, though? Is it Mac Weldon clothing? Because I do. Oh, yeah. You goddamn right you are. It's Mac Weldon clothing all around. It's an all-purpose underwear company, actually. They have other clothing, too, but I want to rave about the underwear, which you can get at MacWeldon.com, and you can use code official for all sorts of goodies from them. Mac Weldon, they've been featured in GQ, uh, Business Insider, and in GQ, I actually like this line that the guy, the leader of the company, said where, let's put a name on the waistband and all the rest is moot, is basically what all the other companies do. You know this, right? You pick up a pair of underwear, at the store you come home and it itches the leg openings are too tight mm. they ride up your ass all of a sudden your balls are just mm. either scrunched to the left or the right they're all curled up you just can't wait to get your underwear off of you just to release everything you just fuck you just want to be done with the day that's how tight and uncomfortable they have when the tag is scratching in the lower back mag weldon nice premium fabrics it's a good company also, but I was thinking about ordering a lot of underwear just because I get sick and tired of running out of underwear because I change them too much. So I just order them by when bulk. Them, yeah. <laughs> I don't shit in them. But even if I did, Mac Weldon's underwear is made out of antimicrobial materials. That means they eliminate odor. <laughs> that doesn't mean you shouldn't switch you your underwear. You still shouldn't shit in them. Yeah, you shouldn't shit in them and you should still switch them <laughs> frequently enough. I'm just saying we all know that little odor around our junk that doesn't matter what you do, right? You work out for an hour and all of a sudden it stinks. It kind of helps with that. You should still shower, but still a little bit of a help always is good. Good. Uh, they're all purpose underwear, by the way. You can wear them to work out. Attested by me, I do. I do my calisthenics and shit. And then I can wear another Mac Weldon to go on a date or to go on a walk or just in day to day life. You don't have to have different pairs of underwear anymore. They have many different models. The website is easy to use. All you have to do is go to MacWeldon.com, enter promo code official, and you get 20% off your first order, which is a lot. That's like an extra couple of pairs of uh, underwears. That's M-A-C-K-Weldon.com, promo code official. Get some underwear. These actually are comfortable. I'm very picky about my underwear. I really fucking hate it when I write up my balls. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even layer a bunch of other stuff on that. I went a different route. I, uh, I bought a sampler pack from Mac Weldon, a mm -hmm. little bit of everything, a t-shirt, a workout shirt, some underwear, some workout shorts, this and that. It is... It is no joke, some of the most comfortable clothing I've ever worn. It is, it is just, mm, it feels good to wear it. I don't even want to be naked if I'm wearing Mack Weldon. I just want to wear more Mack Weldon. <laughs> yes. Highly recommend you at least check something out. Use that promo code. What's the promo code? Official. Promo code is official for 20% off of your first order. Motherfucker, I forgot this guarantee, which I really like. If you don't like your first pair... You get your money back. You don't even have to send the pair back. They don't want your fucking used underwear, but they can still give you your money back. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you can tell that's a real guarantee yeah, when they go. Cool. No, no, it's fine. You, you can keep it. It's cool, dude. <laughs> we'll give you, we'll yeah. pay you to keep Are it. Are you sure you don't want it back? <laughs> there is literally no reason to not just try it at that point. <laughs> give it a shot. You might you yeah. might say you don't like it. I doubt it, though, because, again, I've been wearing Mack Weldon for the last week and a half, and I really like everything they make that I tried. Um, have you ever seen the photos of people that do try on underwear at, like, the changing rooms in, in department stores, and they and, and they leave behind, like, shit stains and stuff uh, and put them back on the rack? Oh, what? yeah. That's I, always I guess nice. that's the end of the ad. 
Yeah, what are you oh, talking yeah. about, Jackson? Well, the Mac, Mac Weldon is the solution to that. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> order all that. You don't have you. to. So, Charlie, what people do is they go to underwear stores or any other store. They put, they try on the clothing, and then they just put it back. That So, you wouldn't want to try on uh, tidy whities that someone else had on just 20 minutes before you, right? Yeah. yeah you can't, let you me can't stop do everyone though. there. Why, 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 the the fuck, stop why the fuck would you try on underwear? Why would they let you do that? You well, can't. I actually, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily underwear. I was thinking more like swimmers, I guess. Like No, you underwear know, too. Uh, this is why when you go to uh, women's stores, for example, uh, lingerie, has that little, they have a little sticker yeah. in it for, uh, for the inside the panties. So if women want to try them on, they can, or they can put a new sticker into the there so it doesn't suck up their pussy juices when they put them back <laughs> on the fucking thing. <laughs> It's just soaked on the rack. Yeah. So that's, they, I don't know, man. It sounds like retail is a disgusting job just from that aspect alone. Where somebody comes in. Do you in, think incels go around to like those uh, those stores and sniff the underwear? Oh, trying absolutely. to get the, the, the faint scent of pussy juice? Oh, you bet they do. Oh, God. The sacred nectar. You if bet they're not, they they're do. wasting their time. Maybe they wouldn't be incels if they did that. The disgusting, crusty residue. I bet you they lick it. Don't the don't Ugh. aren't there like uh, used panty dispensers in Japan or something? Or is that a myth? <laughs> I've I've heard I've heard it before, but I'm I'm also not sure if it's a myth or not. Why would there be used panty dispensers? What does it do? Men are perverts. Exactly what do you mean? What, what does it, says. it do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men want to buy people's used panties and bath water, Charlie. Yeah, but out of a vending machine, you lose any sense of like personality behind it. It's yeah, just like just a glory hole for panties. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it comes with a picture of the person. <laughs> like collectibles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe every girl just has their own <laughs> vending machine. I don't know. Maybe they collect them like oh, Pokemon Go get some panties. That'd be fucking cute. That's like some baseball card. Oh, I got rookie uh, Hitomi-san. Yeehaw. <laughs> These are Yuck. from when she was in college. Whoa. Uh, wow, you have the limited oh my edition? God, the golden ticket. Uh, high school <laughs> edition? <laughs> the fucking ticket to the panty factory falls out of the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's does, a great does that mean does that mean you would hold on to the panties for like ten years for the resale value? But then Ooh. the sm the smell wouldn't even stick around. Actually, you'd have to keep you'd have to keep it like yeah, you uh, have to preserve it or something. Yeah, Not in frozen, a jar. Is, but like packed. is there yeah. a used it. panty sellers market <laughs> like like cryptocurrency <laughs> or any of that? Are there dudes out there going, oh wow, they just came out with, with the new exclusive XJ9 Jenny panties? I'll hold on to oh. those for two years and resell them at 10 oh, times the should, price. We should make an eBay, but for like, or, or like an Amazon for used panties. I think that's, that's just not eBay. a bad idea, except it's a bad yeah, idea. It's just yeah. eBay. Yeah, but people are Craigslist. Know. And Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Ugh. it is. Just would, Craigslist. would you buy used panties on Craigslist, though? Yeah, Come on. I bet. I wouldn't that's buy used panties. panties well, what we should period. do, we should. We should make an upscale used panties website where oh, we yeah, like vent either. that it's from we vet that it's from the woman who say it's that it's their panties. <laughs> we test them. How do we do that? We sniff her pussy we, first we and then sniff the panties to make sure to make it's sure. actual human juices, <laughs> we, not well, no, turkey just, grease. Just make her take a picture in those panties. It's easy to verify. That's not enough proof. We need to get our noses in yeah. there. Charlie. What if those panties <laughs> are photoshopped? <laughs> Oh, that's a good so point. Every panty comes yeah. with a certificate oh. of authenticity. That's a br that's a brilliant scam. You wear green screen panties and then you just Photoshop them every time <laughs> to look like the panties you're selling. But it's the same photo. It's, exactly. It's so much easier to just wear them. Why would you green screen <laughs> Photoshop them? You don't no, you, you have to scam them. <laughs> Why? But you scam them by going through more effort. Yeah, take that. Yeah. To prove that you're clever enough to sell panties on this market. You guys you, you guys would sell sell your panties if you were women, right? Because I would, I, I would do, I would do anything. Oh, I would, I would do some vile, <laughs> fucked up shit for money if I was a woman. If you're a woman on the internet and not selling your panties, I just have to ask why. It's just, it's literally free money. It's, you know, well, just anything like that. Yeah, you can sell your feet. You can sell your poop. Anything. 
All right. Well, have you seen I don't that think I one? Would do that. No, have you seen that one? There was a woman the, who, who made a decent bit of living. Twinkies? No, she she made a decent bit of living. She would sell poop and like literally just her poop, and then she would bake cupcakes with her poop in them. Yeah, she she shoves a shit in Twinkies and sells yeah. them. Yeah, and and one of the funniest things is on her website. She had a bunch of disclaimers. She said that if I mail this to you, I have to put exempt human specimen on it for customs. <laughs> and it's like you don't want to get that package at your door. <laughs> and she also had to make a, a point of posting on there not to eat her feces, so people were definitely eating her. Poop. Oh, a hundred percent. So yeah, yeah. If, if I were a woman, I would absolutely do that. What do I have to do? Poop into a fucking container every day? I don't want to do that. And then I make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars per load. Hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> Try hundreds yeah. of thousands. Depending on the person. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, fucking hot. Belle Delphine sold her bathwater, and that wasn't even that radical, but five-year-olds were like, wow, what an edgy, crazy, wacky meme that this woman's doing. Buy it. And then it sold like hotcakes. So five-year-olds. Allegedly, there's no neck proof neck that it sold beards. well. Now I'm sure yeah. it did. Oh, yuck. The amount of oh. YouTubers who ironically bought it alone would fill a whole exactly. Olympic pool. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's all I'm saying. You don't even have to get crazy. You can do the most bare bones shit and lonely people or people who do it ironically will eat that shit up. Literally. This this girl's an animal though. She must be successful because she puts out a lot of content. Ugh. Who? The the Love Rochelle. Is that the it's poop posted girl? In the, yeah, it's the poop girl. Ah. Uh. Yeah. She uh she eats her own poop for videos. That's Courageous. Wow. That's, uh, something. Wow. That's Shit filled what Twinkies a... for only twenty ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was about to ask I was about to ask how do we know that it's like real poop and not just like props and her fucking well, you, around? You could, yeah, you there's could a, see it coming from straight from her the, asshole. The, one, sure one, of the, one of the one of the first things that you're greeted with on her website is a giant close up of her taking a fat log of a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. I clicked on the website. <laughs> It's like, it's two girls, one cup without the other girl and right into the camera. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my oh, there's God. There's so many of them. It, this is fucked. Uh, oh, oh how no. Do you, she must lube her asshole because this shit is flying out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what their diet is. How do they do that important shit? This is a full-time job. Yeah. I mean, she's got a controlled diet, maybe. Yeah, but what do you have How? to eat to oh, shit out of half sick. a snake? I can't look at this. Oh, the poop. She, I, I think she just eats poop. It's just a <laughs> continuous circuit. Oh, that, oh, that's making me nauseous. Just was, Ouroboros uh, eating her own poop. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Nah, just like my shit, I could never make a Twinkie out of it. Maybe oh. like chocolate filling, but it's just not that solid. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. How how in the like, fuck do people do this? this? Like, uh, let me put it this way: I'm I'm just looking at this website, and I just look at a photo of her doing something, and I'm starting to gag and feel nauseous. She's yeah, full I'm, on licking I'm, her I'm duty, gagging. like full on she's, tongue on her poop. She's got everything. Her got duty. Did you just get internet yeah. today? <laughs> how are you not desensitized? <laughs> Yeah, I, apparently I, if you hey, buy her poop, hey, she sends I, you a video of her I, I, pooping I'm the poop I'm desensitized, so. but this shit's still gross. I don't know. There's something about, like, eating poop that's just, like, my tummy doesn't like it. Nah, I, I agree with Kaya. I think I'm also desensitized. It's obviously gross, but I'm not over here, like, gagging or shitting my pants. I'm not, honestly, if anything, I'm more impressed. If you guys look in her website and go to Toilet Slavery, she's got, like, a 50-foot-long <laughs> turd falling out of her ass. It's wild. <laughs> She's yeah, putting see, up so big numbers. How do they do that? Do, do they have to prep for it? I have no it? idea. <laughs> Does it She's like, making like a, a jump rope from her asshole. It, is it like let when me, uh, let, let, boxers train for a fight where months beforehand they start trading and going on diets? And is that like her title fight when she takes a shit? I have no idea, man. I, I'd be very curious to know how Rachel does it. Let, let me let me uh, quickly read a review from the website to set the scene as to what her audience is. This is on the product shippable by my poop for $85. Lewis replies, 
He's a verified owner, so it's proven that he's actually uh, received her shit. And it says, bought a custom video and a load. All I have to say is, wow. Her poop never had a strong smell and it was very sweet. Not really bitter. Went down very smooth too. Ate as much as I could and then blew the biggest load ever. I love being her toilet and next time I'll make sure I get every last bit, bit of her chocolate in my stomach. And I'll lick the container clean too. So this is the audience. Jackson, I want to I wanna counter with this review. I, I like this. This one a lot. This is by Lance, who is also a verified owner. He gave her three out of five stars and said, oh. wasn't much poo, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been oh, a slow day in her bowels. <laughs> you think she kind of scams people like cuts her shits with Nutella from time to time? Just oh, to get the most profit. Dude, that'd be a huge bust. Oh, what, what if the yeah. guy who's used to eating shit, he eats the Nutella cupcake and starts vomiting? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Nutella. Oh, I wanted the uncut shit, fucking bitch. bacterial biome. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how dirty Nutella is? <laughs> oh, there's so much sugar in this. What's wrong with you? Ugh. My scat play is completely based around eating swallowing. I never smear or waste any. What the fuck? I what have to hero. delete my fucking history now. This is disgusting. Oh, yeah. I've... How do you yeah, so eat? that's another no, factor. So how do these people <laughs> not get sick or get stomach worms 24-7? How do they not just walk around with permanent pink eye? That's what I always have to ask. Like, I was watching something on a raw meat eater who eats, like, raw sheep testicles, two-month-old livers that are very clearly decayed. He literally buries some meat in a garden and digs it out months later to eat it. And he's super healthy, apparently. I don't get it. But it's, it makes no sense to me. I want to read another one of these reviews. This product this tastes like shit, great. lol. <laughs> <laughs> A little winking emoji. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe the shippable 10 ounces of pee product would be uh, a, a bit tamer, void of the, the poo comments. But the, the, one of the reviews says, it just says, great tasting and washes the poo treats down very nicely. Oh, she's <laughs> like a wine connoisseur of, of piss. She sells everything. Here, shippable, uh, $29.99. One ounce of period blood. Three tampons worth. God damn it. That's a good deal. <laughs> I am so astounded, though, by the massive shits that this woman takes. I can't stop watching. They're ten ten ounces of pee. becoming an investor. Oh, I like these. I like They're these, literally uh, like a foot names. long. Shit filled Twinkies. <laughs> poo poo platter. Ten ounces of pee. Yeah, she sells an entire oh, platter my, of food. My, my, my favorite, favorite open up a restaurant. <laughs> Lemon pee bars. Poo my, nuts my, my favorite one. <laughs> my, my favorite one she's done was. Uh, my That's favorite one she's done was pun. banana butt muffins. You gotta order banana butt muffins. Fuck that, no. I, Just like grandma used to make them. I like peanut butter cups. <laughs> Buy my poop. Uh, chocolate fudge brownies. <laughs> chocolate in quotes. <laughs> God, she must be. She must just spend the entire day baking and shitting. <laughs> How do you figure that out? It's not like... Aunt, uh, like you, those usual recipe websites don't include shit recipes. So this woman is a pioneer. She had to figure out how to make a burger all by herself. How to make a patty. Ooh, shippable, <laughs> dirty diaper. Oh, wow. Ooh. Uh, man, this one, actually, actually her life must be fucking miserable. She can't go to the bathroom without it being like a business trip where she has to like capture the pee in like separate Tupperware oh. and the shit. And oh, the different ones. She has the easiest job ever. She just shits in things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but think about how inconvenient think, think it Think about all be the to... benefits. Think about all the benefits. She goes to the store and buys like butt wipes and toilet paper. <laughs> That's a business expense. So it's genius. She has... Plumbing is a business expense. Yeah, she plumbing. Has... She has product categories. Desperation. Farting. Mainstream. <laughs> Panty pooping, poop, <laughs> scat, shippable, smearing, squirting, toilet slavery, toys. I want to see farting. Does she sell jars? I bet she does. <laughs> Ew, what? I want to fart oh, out your cum. Those are videos. All you're allowed to breathe is my gas. Who are you, <laughs> <laughs> you talking to? <laughs> Auntie's gas chamber. Do you think your family's proud? Oh, I doubt they know. Hmm. Uh, well, oh. Yeah, what's this fucking mask do to hide her identity? She's wearing a little, like a little eye mask on every single video, but she's got her name in the title of the website, and yeah, she's constantly visible. Her seventy-year-old so yeah, father can isn't gonna know. Her. I thought, then what? Her dad isn't browsing uh, this. Most likely not. 
I mean, the mask at least gives her deniability. She could just say it's someone who looks like her at the end of the day. She got, sounds like uh, lives in the yeah, exact same house. Shit's as just her. like she does. <laughs> She's like the Batman of shit videos. <laughs> she gets aggressive with some of these titles as just fucking my gassy, shitty ass on a bouncy ball, forcing out ass juice with my farts. <laughs> Two urgent shits. How urgent were they? <laughs> Two, th these descriptions are great as well. Two hot shits I just can't hold in. I gotta go. I turn on the camera in the nick of time and lay two fat loafs. Love heart. <laughs> Thick, stinky, raw shit. <laughs> and my pussy is already creamy from the need to shit. And opening and closing my shit gaped asshole over and over again. <laughs> if you love watching chicks dumping big loads, you'll be playing this on repeat as you jack off to Kingdom Come. Oh my God. <laughs> That's poetic, man. Uh, That's some new Fifty Shades of Grey shit right there. She clearly loves, <coughs> loves what she's doing. Oh, man. All power to her. God damn it. These video previews. You don't deserve real air. Only farts and shards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no air and I must breathe. The review. Five logs pushed out of my pucker. What the... Oh. His names. The review, her description is, oh my, you're here again. Did you enjoy my farts the last time you were here? Well, I'm feeling bloated and gassy. How about a sequel? <laughs> I fart in your face, blasting with gurgling bombs over and over again, taunting you, someone wandering just, aloud if you deserve real Someone just real had air. an incredible suggestion in chat. Hmm. They, they, you know how we're doing... We're, uh, Meant to be doing Pepper Parade come 156 for three year no. anniversary. Why don't we each order a shit Twinkie? No. <laughs> yes! First one to get a tapeworm loses. First one to actually be able to eat it wins forever. <laughs> I don't that's not a win. Uh, yeah. Top five top five yummy dumps. I wanna see what number four is. You won't believe number three. I just She's got a poo block too. This fucking review. This is from this year. Verified owner. I just needed everyone to know that the last shart in the vid is actually literally epic and probably the best fart I have ever seen in a scat vid. Easily makes the video <laughs> worth it on that last fart alone. But every other fart here is amazing as well. Jesus, who are these people? Do you think she can even eat, like, real food at this point? Absolutely. Or she's just too... too in the, in the poo business. She just can't get enough poo. Ugh. I don't know. I think she has to eat real food at some point. She's got a whole fucking network. How many people are buying shit? Down at the bottom it says the Scat Shop Network. The Scatshop.com, Scatshopmen.com, LoveRochelle2.com, PoopyLife.com. Poopy Life? Yeah, there's so many fucking sites here. Oh, what a Jesus. Cool name for a site. Let me level with you guys. If you've taken a look at my store lately, you've noticed I've had a boyfriend for a while and I have already seen a oh, debut couple video. I want to see what this motherfucker looks like. What kind of a human being is into this? I gotta in, know. In the meantime, it's Fred Durst or something. I like this one a lot. Shit breakfast sandwich. It's just her bent over a little paper plate with some bread on it. And she, <laughs> and she shits on the bread and puts it together. It starts, Delicious. It's like a cartoon. <laughs> is this what they do in Guantanamo Bay to the inmates? Is, is that what they get to eat? Oh, yep, the boyfriend expectantly looks like a neckbeard. Oh, God. Ew. Oh, God. Oh. I just, oh, Scat uh, Shop actually does look even worse. <laughs> this is just like a porn they site. They all look bad. Ooh. Go to scatshop.com like slash official. Huge... <laughs> <laughs> 10% off this your next been, order. A 20 uh, twenty minute sponsorship. <laughs> Thanks, Rochelle. Oh, God. I mean, she herself isn't unattractive. Yeah, she if you is. get rid of... If you get rid of... Uh, it's the act of the shitting that's not attractive, clearly. But she... Like, if you take away all the poop and the piss and the and the baking and shit, then just look at her. Take away She's the baking. Attractive. What's yeah, wrong with her baking too far. things? Yeah, that's too far. Yeah. I like cookies. 
She's nothing without her poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm thoroughly sickened. Well, yeah, do we have a, a, a palate plen uh, cleanser? Yeah, so I have a defense of Putin. So uh, Russia officially introduced the sovereign internet law to let Putin cut off entire country from the rest of the web. I get it now. See, at the beginning of this episode, I was going to argue against this, but now mm, he's kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for the free market. Guy. If someone wants to sell their shit and there's an audience for it, go wild. <laughs> no, Would I Would you stoop have... that low, Jackson? Like, let's say you're, let's say you're pitching I, no, out like Yeah, really... no, I said absolutely not. No, no. fuck no. I said at the start, as soon as we started looking at that, I said, no, I'm not doing that. What if you pinch out Why really attractive looking grumpies, though? Yeah. What is an attractive looking shit? <laughs> I don't know. Take <laughs> advice from Rachel. <laughs> she's got so many different looking turds. Is there like... Not true. She's probably, she's probably got a brand image. No, but is there like a subgenre of scat where some of them are into these solid, glossy logs, but others really like the wet, sloppy diarrhea? Because I can give them that. I can give them lots of diarrhea freckles on my toilet bowl. <laughs> Kaya, you should send her pictures of your toilet and see if you gross her out enough to quit. <laughs> Dude, I impressed this is the upper limit of what the ass Imagine is capable of. A morbidly obese man was impressed that I have to use mold remover to get the shit stains out of my toilet. So I don't think she can measure up with her a little. Her, her turds look like they would just slide down the toilet delicately and all petite like. No match. That's a weird way of describing <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, what was were you saying? Uh, am I, I, I've, this is triggering my, my like flight or fight response. My hands are all like sweaty and. I think it's because you're confused on how to feel. You want to place an order, but you know you shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, they're not too expensive. She definitely. <laughs> she definitely has a fair price. Eighty-five dollars for a shit. Just imagine though, Jackson, like that. She's gonna shit in a little cup, and all the way shipping to Australia, which is like what a thirty-hour mm -hmm. journey. It's gonna ferment. It's gonna have little maggots in it by the oh, time it arrives. Be beautiful. It's gonna be melted. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> It'll be nice and cured, like aged wine. Just getting better and better. Leave it under the hot sun for a little yeah. while too. Maybe if you let it ferment long work. enough, it'll turn to cheese. Stop it, stop it. Maybe it'll just, like, get fertilized somehow and take a life of its own. Like a chicken egg. Maybe it'll... Maybe it would, it's, like, the next delicacy. Like, no one's let shit age long enough and eaten it to know how great it tastes. You could I, be the pioneer, see, Jackson. So, right. What so, do you think shit tastes like? Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like ass? I don't know. But, I mean, I no, bet you at some point you, somebody you smell a fart? Taste? You, you know how a fart smells? That's how it tastes. Do shit smell like farts? What? what? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, maybe Have not never to smelled? such a strong degree, but the reason farts smell bad is because they're shit yeah, but in I your colon. I thought it was the gas that was the uh, the smelly part. No, it's the, the shit itself. Yeah, the gas the comes part? from the shit. Yeah, when you're gas farting, is? it's just... Yeah. It's shit fumes. Oh. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So it would smell nice. Well, I and guess it would taste like. There's it. only one way to find out, Jackson. Yeah. I'm not tasty shit, pussy. Well, what would it take for you to taste just a small piece of your own shit? Of my own <laughs> shit? Yeah. Oh, I've probably done that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He means Wait, right yeah, Charlie, now. Charlie, weren't you the one who was like well, bending over to smell his own ass and rub your hand in there? Yeah. To, oh, yeah, Get sweet God, though, I wasn't licking it. My Lord, I had manners. <laughs> no, I don't mean like a 10-year-old. I mean like an infant. Oh. <laughs> but did you wash your hands, I though, afterwards? Sticking, after my, wiping sticking your my thumb up my ass and then tasting it like a lollipop. Yeah, no, I absolutely washed my hands after it. I'd only like rub my ass or rub my hand in my ass for like a little bit to get the friction, smell it, and then maybe do it a couple more times and then wash. Never ate it. <laughs> <laughs> testing your engine oil just <laughs> he takes a dipstick in there in his asshole like yep that's this looks good <laughs> they, gotta check the ph balance bro god yeah how much were you to taste my own shit i think i think at least five five million dollars oh, oh, bullshit. Bullshit. No, bullshit. bullshit you do it for a million bullshit you do it for so much million. less 
You'd do it for a grand. I don't grand. think I would. You'd do it for a grand. No, no, I definitely wouldn't do it for, for anything under a million. Nah, you would. I don't think so. You would. No, I don't think I would. Okay, how much for you I to could. order a cup of this bitch's shit and just like shake it around, open the lid and huff it? You don't have to eat it, just huff it deeply. <clears throat> Inhale it. Why is that worse for you, Charlie? I you don't know. have that kind of visceral reaction to eating it. That's yeah, so yeah. odd. Well, because I'd be eating my own brand, but this is, I'm shaking around like proprietary third party sweatshop <laughs> poopy. Uh, in that case, if I'm smelling it, 200,000. That's oh, a bargain. Fuck off. You're not. Why? So if, if we were just sitting next well, to each other you? and I farted, Jackson, you'd just smell that for free. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Yeah, well, you would, you still offer. would. It's not a big deal. If I is could, it? I would charge you two hundred thousand. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a bit different when there's a loaf of shit staring up at your face <laughs> and you're sniffing it. You don't have to look at it. Yeah, you can wear. How much would you guys pay? How much would you guys take? I mean, not pay. To just huffing. smell it, right? We're still in the world of just yeah. only smell. What? what which one yeah. is this? I don't know, I'd probably, I'd probably smell it for like 25 grand. That seems reasonable. I'd go. I'd do it for less. I mean, because the thing with the smell yeah. is once, you, after the smell, you're, it's done. Yeah, like, but you're still, but you, you're excluding like the steps that you get there to the smell. You have to shake it like in your protein shaker. You have to be holding <laughs> warm poop loaves in the shaker. But, like but there's a lot the of thing. steps involved. You've, uh, you've already, you've already it. done this a lot. Every time you go Post to a public bathroom poop. and some stranger's dropping a growler. You, yeah, you, know, so you don't have to. Yeah, but you're not holding it and like throwing it around in a in a glass. So, it, it, so is the part that you have a problem Who with cares? that you'll be holding it like you put it in the microwave to yeah. warm it up a little, and then you have to shake it up. Is that yeah, your that's probably what I'd have an issue with, and why my that would uh, be why my rate's a bit higher. What? So <laughs> if it was cold shit, you'd be fine. If it was like frozen, yeah, like popsicle shits, probably. I'd be well, easier. cold shit's right. not going to smell, smell nearly as bad. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's say you have to put it in the microwave. I, I mean, Kaya, am I am I alone in this? Where I think these two guys are babies to just smell poopy and you do it for far far less. Well, how much did you do it for, Andrew? Free. Uh, <laughs> honestly, how much do I have to pay? Honestly, just to. I mean, at the end of the day, what is it? You hold a nasty jar and smell it once. Oh no, that that I unpleasant mean, feeling ends after literally like. Okay, five now seconds. you're making it sound like. Oh, oh no, wow. I, I'd hate if that would happen. God, Ugh, I hope that never happens. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> I, I would hate if someone happened to have a hundred dollars, the limit that I do it for <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't Can know. You do it for a hundred dollars. Wow, that's cheap. Jeez. I'd probably do. Yeah. It. I'd probably do it for a couple hundred bucks. I. I don't see why it's so bad. It's just a it's bad shit. smell. Yeah. So what? You smell shit every time you go to a public restroom that's not clean. You know that's a good point. Yeah. It's the, it's the same thing. What? Her shit's gonna achieve mythical properties and like ruin your sinuses forever. Yeah, but you're no. putting it directly under your nose and really huffing the. Fumes. And you're touching it in the glass. You don't, don't have, have to touch in the glass. It I'm not touching with the your shit. finger. Man, no Who said, said I had to do touching. that? Hang on a minute. Wait, do you put your pinky in and stir it? No one said no. that. No one said any of that. You said you give me a glass with it, ready to go, and I have to shake it up and smell Wait, it. Wait, is it... You've heated it up in the microwave, so is it poop or is it like poop soup? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess you could... Like where it's all like mix it a little with milk and then heat it up. at that point. I don't know. Yeah. So, <laughs> what are the exact conditions? Do you have to here? use a, a spoon to like uh, taste test it. How much would that? How much would you uh, charge? For that? With well, a, that's way with a way fork more to see if it's done thoroughly. <laughs> it's way way more because like here, here's the difference. If you're if you're smelling poop, it's like oh wow, five seconds of bad smell and then it's gone. Period. But if you're tasting it, you got it in your tongue. It's gonna go in your mouth. You got to taste yeah. that until you get rid of the flavor. Yeah. It might get in your Stomach. You have to digest it. Yeah, that's a big, big different task from just smelling it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Clearly, yeah. Yeah. I, all right, I, you convinced me. I'll go down to ten grand. Yeah, I, I would do the jar. I the can beat Jackson's just... price. I'll do it for five. There you oh, go. Oh, I'm sticking to ten grand. You shouldn't huh. have gone lower. I do the jar. Someone's gonna take you up on that for for not a lot, but eating it. That's a whole different ball game. Yeah, Kaya, what would you do it for? You, I don't think you've answered this. Twenty. 
<laughs> just enough to pay for it, huh? <laughs> it, sounds, it, it sounds like an as seen on TV product. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle right now I'll double prices. the offer by eating. Kyle wants to do this. <laughs> He's interested. <laughs> Anyone got a coupon I'll smell code? Two of your poops for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, can I get a discount? <laughs> we should it reach out show. to this bitch. Man, if we only should. we were somehow. See, the fucked up part is if I reached out to this bitch, she turn us down. I feel like somehow we're still beneath her <laughs> because every porn star we've ever reached out to <laughs> has always turned us down, and I do not get why. The, same you, with the Fruit Loops lady. Because you're already calling them a bitch. I was so <laughs> excited to. So <laughs> what? You, Half her reviews are, I love this bitch's shit. I, I hope this bitch shits in my stomach more. I don't get it. No, they treat her like a goddess. Are you kidding me? They would never use such foul language against <laughs> Rochelle. Fair enough. They're her poop queen. What? You, they, they're not going to insult her. Well, you, I will. So you reached out to the Fruit Loops pussy girl? Yeah, me and Doug both did. But then, unfortunately, I guess she got in a near fatal car crash. And uh, it just excuses, oh. excuses. You told us that. That's right. You did tell us that. Mm-hmm. Wait, who's the Fruit Loop lady? Um, I'm, bl I'm blanking on her name, but there's a video of her where she's upside down and her ass is gaping, and they put Fruit Loops and milk in her asshole and then eat it out of it. Oh, that's, oh, she's that's a really, really old photo, isn't it? No, there's a video of it if you want to watch. <laughs> I feel like I saw that ages ago. Yeah, I feel like I saw it ages ago, though. Yeah, it's an older one. She's still she's still relevant? Yeah, someone, doesn't someone else come up with a spoon and start eating it? Yeah. Yeah. A guy and a girl, a they eat it. it, it yeah. It's art, it's but can't get her to save our lives. I don't know how, why or how. I don't know why you can't get a porn star on here. Uh, I don't get it. One day. I don't know why women don't want to come on in general. One day our We're nice guys, aren't we? One day our pooping <laughs> queen will, will show Wait, up. Women love talking about shit and poop. They would, yeah. I don't know why they won't come on after 40 minutes of talking about this woman's business of poop Twinkies. <laughs> uh, Wait, you're telling me you don't want to talk about shit and poop? Are you okay? That's Something what I'm wrong? saying, man. I, girls need better conversational topics. If they're not talking about Rochelle's newest shitting into a glass bowl video, like what the fuck are you even talking about? Didn't we want to? Didn't we just a waste of a conversation? The idea of pandering to different audiences at some point. Yeah, we're still number three in gaming in Australia. Fuck we haven't yeah, talked we about are. gaming in like um, six months. <laughs> I really like the new Diablo. Let's talk trailer. about games. You take that back. Yeah, you fucking ruined it. What? I thought it was a nice trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool trailer. I, yeah, yeah, it was a cool I trailer. I mean, Blizzard's cinematics have always been nice. It's just Blizzard themselves are a fucking joke. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan. Let's talk about a game we're all a fan of, Luigi's Mansion 3. What a nice game. Oh, it's so good. What a nice game. Is it actually good? It's fun. It's real good. I like it a lot. It's real cute. Nintendo has a... What's, what's your favorite part of it, Andrew and Charlie? Please tell us. Would you well, like if you first? played the original, it's not... Yeah, I'll go first. It's not exactly like the original where every like room kind of has its own little theme. It's a hotel in this one, and every floor is themed that way, so they're all very different. Like, on one of the floors, it's a, a ghost movie man making a movie, and it's a kaiju movie, and then you become the star in the movie. It's really fucking cute. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I think Nintendo... I'm go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I never played the Luigi Mansion game, so what's the core, like, genre of it? Are you just walking around collecting stuff? Is it a collect-a-thon? Nah, they're more adventure games. You, door is locked puzzle with, solving. Yeah, door is locked with key. Go find key. Okay. Thing happens, go fix it. Like, oh. So is it pretty linear? It's not, like, super engaging gameplay? They're, they're linear, but there's places to explore and a lot of, like, secret rooms to find jackson just wants to oh, know if there's shit. lightsabers in it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys remember this this was a long time ago like even before my time you guys i don't know if you were even born yet you guys remember when metroid prime 4 was supposed to be a thing it was long long ago it's i think it's still in dev it's just in hell <laughs> they're not talking about it i just want it they ended a three did you like the other ones, Kaya? Uh, what were they? Echoes and um, something else that was a disaster? 
if you're talking about other well, M, I don't Metroid think anyone liked is... those. But I like Metroid in general. I like the mobile ones. The 2D ones, obviously. I like the Metroid Prime Hunters, I think it was. Yeah, they're fun. I like them. I like the music. The, just the general design and atmosphere of it is... I enjoy them. I think they're going to nail it. If they didn't want to nail it, I think they would have just pushed out the turd that was already in development instead of restarting it entirely. Mm. I'm yeah, digging what they're doing. Of... There's a lot of hype riding on 4. I, I feel like they that's a game they would much rather delay rather than try to rush it out. So that right, now make us number one on right gaming, now. damn it. It's about fucking yeah, time. Yeah, there's a 10-minute gaming talk. Why the fuck aren't we really? climbing? How many Free podcasts don't even talk about video games? We gave you 10 whole minutes. You're welcome. Yeah, Pretty is there even the gaming podcasts? I think we might be the only one. Oh, dear God, they're, they're such horrible you. ones. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> They're so goddamn terrible. Boys, let's, entire... well, yeah. let's try to win another category. Can we be the top movie podcast? Because I got something to say on movies. What do you want to say, Andrew? Say it. Charlie, have you have you gotten this backlash, this flack as well, where people can't believe that we didn't hate Terminator Dark Fate? Oh, God, the Terminator fans. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Wait, the Terminator fans don't like you liking yes them? yeah so yes. terminator fans are mad because they killed this isn't a spoiler it happens in the first scene and in the trailers they killed Whoa. john connor immediately and then they go in a totally different direction and by that i mean they tell the same story but in a different universe so instead of skynet everything that happens in terminator one and two stops skynet but in this one it, you know just like the the themes are the same where you know fate is absolute you know you can only postpone judgment day so it still happens, but with Legion, and now Legion sends two Terminators back. But they made it actually a fun fucking movie, instead yeah. of just the boring, dull, pseudo-intellectual shit Terminators like Genesis and Salvation. People do Didn't not even believe me when I say this. Charlie and I actively went to this movie to shit on it. We, we literally were only going because we have a tradition where we watch Terminator and we go, fuck, these movies are so bad. Holy shit, they keep fucking this up. Wow, this is garbage. And then within the first probably third of the movie, we both had this revelation of, oh, this movie's actually kind of good. We're enjoying it. It was fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's acting like, oh, they disrespected Terminator as if there's anything to respect about shitty movies past the second one. <laughs> yeah. Even the well, first. They're saying it disrespects the second one, mainly. It doesn't. Yeah. No, it, it takes place that happens right the, after the second one. The second one, everything that happens, it stops Skynet, which was the whole goal. But just like the themes that were always present about, you know, this is fate and it's going to happen. You can only postpone it. It still happens. That's always been like a central core theme to Terminator. So I don't know why they're acting like it totally shit on it. It continued yeah. the same themes, the even one, told the same fucking story. And the one that I just don't understand is people don't think it's a good movie because it's advertised. Like the Terminator has cameos in video games and he has ads on Twitch and all this shit. So they go, oh, this thing has commercials. Therefore, it's bad. Because it's, you know, I see it. They they have an advertising budget. They, it can't be good. It's, no, it's it's fine. I, I'm, I'm not paid off by them, I swear. I don't want to have to keep defending I watched, it. I watched, like, an hour's worth of people shitting on it. I didn't really hear, like, too many great points. Some I obviously agree with, like, really bad dialogue. Yes. I mean, it's super cheesy. I don't know if you'd necessarily call it bad because it is just super cheesy, which I think is charming in and of its own right. But the, I, the criticisms I just didn't really get behind. I just didn't understand where they were coming from. They just seemed mad about it. Disrespecting John Connor, who's one of the most overrated and shit characters in all of fiction. Is yeah. it because of the whole the, uh, bandwagon with Tencent producing this? It's possible. I didn't see that too much. A lot of people were mad because it's a woman. And I don't really care about the gender. Could have been a man, could have been a woman. It's literally just oh, John Connor again. I mean, but let's, let's talk on that, What do you mean man. it's a woman? Terminator 2 had a woman. Terminator yeah, has a woman. Let's, let's yeah. talk yeah. on been that. A woman. Like, the movie has problems. Like, there, there's awkward dialogue, like he said. Some of the CGI is downright bad. Like, and mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of shitty because it's the first uses of CGI in the movie that look the worst. And and there there are issues. There are things that are dumb and this and that. But the characters are the best part of the movie. Literally, all the characters have great defined personalities and all of them have arcs and moments and good scenes. And yet people are bitching like, oh, they killed John Connor. Oh, they ruined Sarah Connor. Oh, the, the, the. It's like, did you watch the movie? Because I, I think a lot of people complaining about it didn't watch the movie and they just don't want to even give it a chance. 
Well, what's surprising to me is you and I went in wanting to shit on it and looking for things to shit on. These people did too, and they found it in love for bad Terminator movies. I know. Which is weird. Like, they're shitting on it because it disrespected the objectively worst movies in the fucking franchise. T3. Yeah, maybe they just didn't enjoy it. Which is fine, but the criticisms didn't really align with that. It was mainly about John Connor and brushing it off and disrespecting franchi the franchise. Really? I personally like that they got rid of John Connor and went with a new cast. It felt fresh. They they told basically the same plot as the second movie, but with a whole new cast and kind of a different look at it. What did you guys want? Oh, no. there! It turns out there's another Terminator. We have to save John. This is the same so, movie. Not to bring it up again, but that's kind of sounds like The Force Awakens, right? Oh, different God. cast, but they just told the same story again of episode four. Right. And while I said that The Force well, it's Awakens... Nothing, it's, it's, it's nothing like that. This yeah. is... <laughs> Jackson, when I say they told the same story, this is this is literally the same story. It's Terminator Two okay. again. <laughs> okay, all right, can which we is be good number because one they did Terminator now? Two and made it fun. Please, yeah, there, I think there. We should be. We are now the top there, movie uh, podcast. Terminator, believe uh, it or not, one. believe it or not, it's top not bad. Gamer, I know. Um, let's wrap it up with it's another top in in now. True crime. Uh, Ted Bundy is hot. That should do it. Mm. That okay, looks, that'll we, cover that base. Yeah, that'll get us all the serial killer groupies five stars. You guys want to rap? Yep. Sure. Okay, well, we might not get porn stars, but next week we have someone important, don't we, Charlie? I believe we do. You may know him. Well, do we? are we saying his name? Oh, fuck yeah, we are saying his name. It's Crypto Kingpin and notorious whale fucker John McAfee. If all goes well, next week he's joining <laughs> us. Same time as always, 11 a.m. Sunday. If you want to tune in live, you can go to patreon.com slash the official podcast. We'll see you there. Uh, you can send in your questions if you want on the Reddit or our Discord, which is also for patrons. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. See you next week and hopefully with Mr. John McAfee. We're going to ask him so many questions about fucking whales. It's going to be ridiculous. I'm going to somehow try to tie in quantum supremacy and how it affects whale fucking we gotta find an I'm angle gonna, there i'm gonna i'm gonna level a bet actually that he's gonna walk out of the episode in like 20 minutes because he's gonna be like i don't i don't <laughs> want to talk about that i don't want to talk about this don't bring that up i'm not allowed no, to talk cool. about that oh, okay that's good i'm just scared because cool. with people like him where they're just constantly in hot water they usually don't want to say stuff You'd, you'd think the guy fucking giant creatures in the ocean is pretty cool with chatting about yeah he's been on controversial things he's been on other shows he's a he's cool he's not a stickler he's not gonna get all puckered okay, up like good. fucking David Cross when you ask him about Me Too and if he's ever gotten Me Too <laughs> fucking douche I remember you all right uh thanks for listening again David Cross yeah David Cross <laughs> Me Too us yeah thanks for your patronage yourself. David. <laughs> patreon.com slash Alrighty. the official podcast thanks for tuning in everyone yeah thanks everyone see you next bye -bye. time bye, bye. bye.